Hi, Google's new video AI is here, VO3, and it is kind of scary. It is improved so much. And now it is hard to distinguish it from the reality. You will see what I mean. Let's look at examples. This ocean, it's a force, a wild, untamed might. And she commands your awe. This is just the first example, but as you can see, it is pretty good. They left behind a, a ball today. What manner of magic is that? This is an animation, but can you tell if a human did it or if it's AI? This is one of the trickiest ones. According to this old sea chart, the lost island isn't myth. We must prepare an expedition immediately. It is getting closer and closer to reality. For example, this is very easy to tell that it is AI. And let's look at this conversation. The microfilm is in your ticket. They're watching the north exit. Use the service tunnel. Like all of these examples are very good. Can you tell these onions are AI? Okay, even the sound is here. You know, the visuals kind of look like AI, but I'm not sure if I would tell you that it's an AI if I would just see this on a social media post. Okay, this one's very good. Very good. I'm not sure if this is AI. <laughs> In this one, I'm lost, okay? I was going to trick you with this one, with asking you if it is AI or not, but just look at this. It is AI. I cannot believe my eyes. How? How did you do that? That is so scary, okay. I have my doubts about giving this to the society. It is not that much affordable right now, it is $250 a month. But Google, are you sure about this? Obviously AIs were getting already good, there's lots of other video generative AIs. But this is the closest to the reality right now. We wouldn't know. From this point on, we are not going to know if they are going to use this in anything. It can be on the news, you can see some footage, you wouldn't know if it is AI or not. It can be in movies, you wouldn't know if they really filmed it or not this can be used to scam people of course i know there are some advantages to this like visualizing something this easily can be a good tool too like i've always dreamt of making a movie with just thinking about it that's just such a cool concept but also if you can do that you can just make anything reality obviously there are still some guidelines you have to follow here but i'm not sure how much those are going to really prevent malicious people from using these in bad ways we are moving so fast on these technologies and i'm not sure if humanity is ready on this this one here's the capabilities of it you can give it an image and then background and it just most stuff on the screen you can obviously tell it to do different stuff than the image you gave it to and it has consistency between videos too you have lots of camera controls okay this one is so good you give it the first frame and the last frame and it just does this it just generates the video here also enhance a video generates its environment here you can inject stuff into the video too it is very advanced yes you can use your own face as input you can control the objects movements in the video too let's look at other people's examples here you might have already seen this one this yeah. guy okay so this is how you start you find a tree and you just like you know punch it down this one's obviously AI, it is kind of weird too, but yes, there's obviously going to be some AI game or channels. This one is so good when it comes to spatial awareness, it just keeps generating the world, look at this. Okay, so we are also going to get some ASMR AI channels, I guess. First induct, then conduct. Here are today's top news. To ensure only the best words are used, why- Okay, I cannot show all of this video because like it is obviously fake news and I might even get banned about it. This is so bad. We are not ready for this. Okay, this is enough. You can keep scrolling yourself. Just go ahead and explore the VO3. If you have the money, go ahead and start spreading misinformation about everything. In the meantime, I also found out how much it costs to them. Well, not to them, but to us to use it. If you use it as an API, which is like if you connect to the backend and use it as a backend, 
backend service coding your own software it is going to cost you 50 cents per second if you also want audio with it it is 75 cents per second so it obviously makes sense to use the regular user pricing with your own personal google account sign up with 250 dollars but yeah i can tell that it is already expensive by just looking at it and these ai's use so much electricity and computer power we can maybe talk about it one day so this is a scary new ai but we have other interesting ai's like notebook lm which i made a video about it you give it some sources and it creates you your own podcast you can even join in on the podcast you can talk with it there were some funny moments in there too so i suggest you check out that video too if you liked it please subscribe and thank you for listening